Today I'm going to use my multi-tool set to bore a hole. I'm starting with a one inch diameter hole and then I'm going to work my way up with different blades and pilots and end up at three and a half inches in diameter. I just do a quick fly cut on the surface of aluminum to get it flat and then we're going to bore us a big hole. A quick touch up on the cutting lips of this one inch drill so she'll cut good and then off to the bridge port to drilled that first one inch diameter hole. I'm just gonna blow a half inch diameter pilot hole through so the one inch drill won't have to work so hard. Go with the one inch drill and I did give it a little shot of WD-40 before we got started to help lubricate it. This is the mandrel. It's going to fit into a standard RA collet type milling machine. And I'm just going to tighten it up with the draw bar up top. So I have my one inch hole through. Now I'm going to jump up to a two inch. This is the blade for a two inch hole. And that would be the pilot that we'll use when we go to the three and a half inch hole next. So first of all, I'm gonna put the blade in and then there is a set screw in the bottom that you tighten down and it self centers itself. Tighten her up, lock it down. We're ready to drill that two inch hole. A little shot at WD-40 to Make everybody happy, and away we go. Well, there we have the two inch hole. That was easy. This is the pilot that's going to guide the next blade drill. And I'm gonna go to a three and a half inch diameter next. Back out the set screw. And slide that blade out. And there's the bigger one we're gonna use, the three and a half just a series of steps and these blade drills can go up to really big diameters six inches and bigger tighten it up I'm gonna drop on the two inch pilot and the set screw goes deep enough so this flat head screw has some threads to tighten that up now we're ready to go with the three and a half same process so I'm just going to lower the blade down onto the part, lock the head down tight, and now I'm going to start raising the table up so I have a little more control over the feed of the cut. The multi-tool set, three and a half inch diameter through half inch of aluminum. It went really smooth. These blades go way up in size. This was the kit that I purchased for $454. That seems like a lot, I know, but look at all of the sizes that you get with the kit. It's a handy little thing to have if you're going to have to do some big holes. Thanks for watching.